Hey guys, and welcome back to Hawk Tower. Where we last left off, we were just going to Rick's house as Stan Gotts. Now, I did go back and watch my uh, previous video. We actually did send the statue here, which kind of sucks because that means that I now have to <laughs> play the beginning of the game again so we can get the library. But anyway, uh, we'll get through this bit. Uh, just quickly to show off the E ending and then uh, we'll make a cut and we'll come back. So We can also get um, another hint, hint 8 I believe here. We don't need to see this. So what's up with the castle? We can see this now. A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. How's that? That'd be Scissorman. I had always thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. So that's the old man killed. So that's the old man killed his own son. That doesn't make any sense. Listen, Gramps, do you still know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that's somewhere. There is. What's wrong? If they're, if they're quiet. It's okay, boy. What's the matter? Don't be such a rat. Oh. Okay, not sure why the dog's gone crazy. That's so badass. Oh no! You can tell that's definitely Barry's uh, voice actor for sure. Oh no! Right, okay, well, let's get out of uh, here. Apparently, he's bulletproof. That's disturbing. And he's used his mystical powers, I suppose, to drive Victor crazy, which is not great. But hey, you know, you gotta roll with the blows, haven't you? Take those punches like a champion. So he can um, take repeated shots, in fact, an entire mag dump from uh, Stan Gott's handgun there. But he can be def defeated using... Oh, I guess he can't be defeated by using an umbrella. Um, maybe we didn't mash the buttons fast enough. I'm not really sure. Let's try that again. You must be able to. Um, you must be able to do it, do it. Like there would be no other reason you'd get that panic command come up. All right, let's try that again. Come on, Mr. Scissors. Come on. Get your ass over here, boy. There we go. I've mashed the buttons as much as I... Yeah, okay. Maybe you can't? Am I doing this properly? Is there buttons that I'm not pushing here? Maybe we have to, like, mash all of the buttons to get this to work. I'm curious. I, I really want to work this out. Because we have to be able to do this. There we go, yeah, okay, so you actually have to mash um, two buttons, not just the uh, the X button, you have to mash uh, square as well, which is curious. Okay, now we can actually complete this really quickly, all we have to do is to get the soap and then leave. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Victor seems to have come down with rabies. Or well, maybe it's a T-virus. Alright, so... I think... Nah, this is the hallway, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, actually, we can get a... Clue here, I think. 
something's written. Discovered hint eight. Yeah, so we've got hint eight now. Now we can fondle with that and, you know, get that going crazy and smash it with the vase, but there's no point really. Okay. Now there is a drink here that we can actually have as well, but I, th I don't know if you can do this as Nolan. A full cocktail cabinet. Whoa. Alright. <laughs> so we can huff down some booze that had already been poured. Who knows how long that's been there for. But hey, you know, free booze is free booze, right? Uh, we've disposed of our gun, which is uh, probably not a super fantastic idea, even though the gun's empty. I find it hard to believe that he would just have one magazine on him. But, you know, who am I to argue, I guess? So, we've got some detergent. This could be used to blind someone. Someone or something. Let's go blind the Cerberus outside, shall we? Okay, let's go. So now we can go get ending E for Jennifer, which I'm pretty sure is a continuation of ending uh, E for, or well, ending E for Helen, I should say, which is a continuation of ending E for Jennifer. Right, that castle, the old geezer was talking about. I gotta get some more information about it. Oh, right, we can't leave until we have the information for the castle. Well, that's... A bit of a bugger. Uh, that was in the kitchen, I believe. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure it's behind this. Rick's signature is at the bottom of the painter. That old geezer was pretty good. Yes, he was. Okay. Now, where was... Trash can. There's nothing in the trash can. Where was the information? <laughs> Cooking utensils inside. This can't to be used as a weapon. Why not? Now, you can actually hide in there, but sometimes if we open this up... Uh, scissor man's inside. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I like that. Had to show that off. Right, let's go. Now, I don't know if he's in there uh, multiple times or, or what the deal is with that. Uh, actually, let's just go hide in the bathroom. That seems to be reliable. I do have some notes here that I've printed off. Um... Right, uh, yeah, if we go into the bathroom, we can lock ourselves in. At least we know that much. Okay. Right, let's go barricade ourselves in. Now, I thought that maybe we could actually use the soap as a means of protecting ourselves from Scissor Man, but we actually can't. Okay. Right, there you are. You are absolutely foiled somehow. Oh! Oh! I want Stan. That's easy enough to defeat him. Okay, so let's go. Now, at least I think we can leave here without actually having to pick up the statue. I don't want to grab the statue. Now, the statue is in a different area for Rick. We want to go this way. But, of course, we can't leave without finding out how to get upstairs. I think we have to go to, like, the entertainment room. 
which, uh, if memory serves, there's like a fireplace. Let's try that. So we've just come in through there. This one. Right. Yeah, this is not where we want to go. Um, now, if we remember, the statue was in one of these uh, one of these uh, dresses, I believe, for Jennifer. But that's not the case for Stan. Ah, oh, hey, friend. And there is. That's what we need to check. There's the statue. But of course, we don't want the statue. I guess kids of all ages like cartoons. Oh! Who was it honestly gonna be, Stan? Do you think Rick just got up after having his throat slashed out? Uh, actually, we can just hide in here. I think we can use the bed sheet on him. Now, because unfortunately, Stan's got a bit of a gut on him. So I don't think he's gonna hide under the bed. But we can defeat him with a rug. Hey, boy! Come on, come on! Come to papa. Get fucked. Yeah. Uh, see, considering just how strange and odd some of these uh, takedowns actually are, I can't help but shake the feeling that Scissor Man's just playing with us. I've, I've said it before, but I think that's how it is. I mean, it's obviously probably not meant to be like that it's just the way it is it's cheesy old game design but let's just go with it this picture it's a bit crooked what something is written on the back i found it the location of the barrows castle yeah i didn't know that this um uh the rick was actually voice acted by uh, the same actor, I can't remember his name now, who did Barry in the original Resident Evil. Uh, Jimmy Fails told me that. Uh, I, I would have never have known. Uh, I guess his acting career didn't go that far. Because, I mean, let's be fair. He's not exactly a talent, is he? But we love him nonetheless. After all, he gave uh, our, our Bazza... His personality. Alright, let's get out of here. We've intentionally left the statue behind just so we can get ending at E. You see how quick these scenarios are? This really isn't a very long game at all, is it? And I don't even mind that. Here, boy. There's your fucking dinner. You've already eaten Rick's neck. And now we should get ending E for Helen. And now, without knowing... Oh. Without knowing the whereabouts of the statue, it was over. There was no way for us to escape from Scissor Man. Yeah. Jennifer? Jennifer? Jennifer, are you asleep already? Oh! <gasps> Little pair of scissors. Jennifer. 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 Hold on. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Jennifer, hold on. Please stop bleeding to death all over the floor. Please. So there we go. That's ending E anyway for um, Helen. Survivor unidentified. Happy with that. So anyway, that should more or less save... Yeah, there we go. It's saved to the memory card. Cool. All right. So if we go to our ending list now, we have... <laughs> we've still got one, two, three, four, five, six endings left to go. Hey, we've almost got half of them. So that's a thing. That's that's good. That's progress. Uh, right. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to cut this one. Off. I might actually just leave this as its own video because it's almost 15 minutes long. And I have to go back now and play through the beginning of the game again, I believe, just so we can see the uh, ending.
or so we can see the library. And uh, I'm not sure that I have enough time to do all of this because I still need to record a replacement LP for Dino Crisis as well. And man, I have about an hour and 20 minutes left. Right. Okay, guys, that's going to have to cut it off here. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.